Hey guys, in this video we will see how to evaluate integration of e raised to ax into sin bx dx and integration of e raised to ax cos bx dx. First we consider i is equal to integration of e raised to ax sin bx dx. Now we apply integration by parts rule to evaluate this integration considering sin bx as u and e raised to ax as v. So by applying integration by parts rule we have integration of e raised to ax sin bx dx as sin bx into integration of e raised to ax dx minus integration of integration of e raised to ax into derivative of sin bx dx. Now simplifying this in next step we have sin bx as it is integration of e raised to ax as e raised to ax upon a minus this outside integral into integration of e raised to ax is e raised to ax upon a into derivative of sin bx is b into cos bx dx. Now to evaluate this integral that is integral of e raised to ax into cos bx dx we will apply integration by parts rule once more so by applying this integration by parts rule to this second term keeping this first term as it is we have sin bx e raised to ax upon a minus this b is constant similarly this a is constant considering cos bx as u and e raised to ax as v we have b cos bx into integration of e raised to ax upon a dx minus integration of integration of e raised to ax upon a into derivative of b cos bx dx. Now simplifying this we have this term as it is b cos bx into e raised to ax upon a square minus integration of e raised to ax upon a square into derivative of this is b square sin bx with minus sign minus minus becomes plus carry forwarding this step on my next slide now simplifying this we have sin bx e raised to ax upon a as it is this b cos bx into e raised to ax upon a square as it is if you remember we have considered integration e raised to ax into sin bx dx as i so i replace this integral by variable i with b square upon a square as coefficient now opening this bracket we will have minus sign here then i will take this minus b square upon a square on the other side to have i plus b square upon a square into i is equal to sin bx into e raised to ax upon a minus b cos bx into e raised to ax upon a square. Now simplifying left hand side as well as on the as well as the right hand side we have on left side we have a square plus b square into i over a square and taking out uh, the common terms e raised to ax upon a square we have a sin bx minus b cos bx inside the bracket now this a square a square goes cancelled this a square b square you can take on the right hand side to have i is equal to e raised to ax upon a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx so we so now we can consider integration of e raised to ax into sin bx is e raised to ax upon a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx. On the similar lines, one can prove that integration of e raised to ax into cos bx dx is e raised to ax upon a square plus b square into a cos bx plus b sin bx. I hope you understood how to evaluate integration of e raised to ax into sin bx dx and integration of e raised to ax cos bx dx. Thank you all of you.